Boolean function that works for both of them. And that has lots of physical meaning because it means we found a state where both of these are absolutely certain. So how do we test if these are compatible observables? Well, of course, we have to calculate the commutator of their corresponding operators. So Lx's corresponding operator, though I should actually write these with hat, because we are no longer talking about the angular momentum. We're talking about the corresponding operator. So now how can we figure out if two of them commute? Well, we attempt to calculate their commutator. So let's calculate the commutator of Lx and Ly. So this will just be Lx Ly minus Ly Lx. We can't simplify it further without applying it to a test function. So what happens when we apply it to a test function? Well, we get Lx Ly F minus Ly Lx F. So I'll rewrite the parentheses like this to make it a little bit clearer. So what's Lyf in these parentheses? Lyf is going to be um, minus ih bar times z par x partial zf minus z partial xf. And here we have Ly times Lxf is going to be z partial y f minus y partial zf, of course, with the minus ih bar on the side. And so now you can plug in the definition of Lx, and you can get isolating the minus ih bar squared out of everything. Lx is going to give us z partial y of x partial zf minus z partial xf minus y partial z times x partial zf minus z partial xf um, minus um, what is ly x partial z uh, x partial z z partial y f minus y partial z f plus z partial x z partial y f minus y partial z f. So now what do we do with this? Well, we have to simplify this even more. So what happens when we try to use the chain rule and pro 